Uh, this whole school stuff, folks, uh, closing of schools, businesses really uh, is a focal point, right? Because many remain shuttered and, and that's stalling the economy. And my next guest wrote a letter to large businesses and banks based in New York City explaining how their closures are causing a downstream impact on the Big Apple's economy. We're talking from dry cleaners to shoe signers to deli workers. Part of the letter from Bonson Group CEO David Bonson published in today's New York Post, the title, Why New York Business Leaders Need to Push Hard to Reopen Fast. And David joins us now. David, uh, you know, first of all, congratulations. Powerful stuff. Share with the audience, though, what motivated you to do this? What do you think the outcome is going to be? Well, as I reopened my office in Midtown Manhattan after Fourth of July weekend, and I would walk from my apartment to my office throughout Midtown, everyone can tell that the offices are not open. There's construction workers. There's some people out. It's not quite as just totally shut down as it was back in March, April. But, you know, the city is in desperate need of a, a little energy, a little life. The problem is I kept hearing businesses say, well, you know, our employees are doing pretty well from home. So our traders can work from home and our admin can work from home. It's not going to work. It's fine if your business can get by with your employees at home. The city needs you back. The people in the city that shine shoes and serve coffee and provide, you know, drinks at happy hour and all of those things, those service workers are getting destroyed. And I know what New York did after 9-11. It did not tell people don't come back to dangerous skyscrapers until terrorism is gone forever. It fought back. It rebuilt New York tough needs its companies to have their workers come back at Labor Day. Not at New Year's Day. Well, you know, we had a different mayor back then. Uh, and, uh, you know, the message that you just gave uh, gave me goosebumps, but I haven't heard Bill de Blasio say anything remotely like that. Well, and this is the thing, Charles. We're not going to get it from Bill de Blasio. So we need to get it from Jamie Dimon. We need to get it from Steve Schwartzman. We have some outstanding CEOs on Wall Street. We have great corporate leaders they need to step up and fill that leadership void because you and I both know we're not going to get it from Bill de Blasio. I'm pleading to the corporate leaders that are outstanding business executives to bring their people back to work. You know, David, this underscores also the notion of the connection between the so-called, you know, rich and New York City and and, and the ecosystem, right? Uh, You know, to, to your point, so many lives are touched and the idea of chasing them away, taxing them away, chasing these businesses away. This is what happens. I mean, we're, we're living it in real time, to your point. Absolutely. And I think it's important to point out that I am not making my argument based on how badly I want all the towers and skyscrapers of Midtown filled up again and those companies' own efficiencies. I'm basically, although I believe all that too, by the way, I'm making my argument for that more impoverished person who lives paycheck to paycheck. They don't have the luxury of waiting until a hedge fund trading desk can come back. David Bonson, powerful stuff, my man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. 